Baby, baby. Woohoo, baby, baby. But enough of that, because we shall only get a copyright strike. Anyway, what have I been doing? Well, apart from the usual, getting five views per video, I have been playing around with this thing. It's starting to uh, take shape. <laughs> 200cc dirt bike with kitty wheels. Nice. Only the great joy of using a 200cc dirt bike, because scooters are too expensive here, is you've got to modify everything. So I asked the good people of China to send me two discs, 240 mil, and they responded by sending me two 230s. That's really nice of them. So now I've got to modify everything. So as you can see, the carrier has been uh, hacked up. Um... And originally, it used to have oops, these little spacey tubes going across to the disc. But they ain't working no more, so we've had to make some new spacers up. And also the wheel spacer itself is uh, nine washers too short. <laughs> so I've had to drill a hole through nine washers to make them big enough. And uh, that's not going to be the finished thing, obviously. That's just a uh, mock-up. Also, I have to cut this off of the spacer. It used to sit on that gap there. Right now I've got to sit in board more. Just because I didn't want a massive spacer out there. And more importantly, down here where you can just see my finger. That's the locating lug for the front of the carrier. So it doesn't spin around with the wheel. Hmm, I've got a video on my CRF doing that one time. But anyway... That is as inboard as it can go on that pin before falling off. So now what I'm going to have to do is weld a 5mm strip on the inside of it each side just to make that 5mm wider. And uh, this lot, as seen previously, but in the dark. Oh, <laughs> my axle stand's resting on it. This lot has all been extended inboard. I've made some clevis pins and that lot is going to shoot up to the front there. And then hopefully... The back of the bike will stop. Right, as my channel doesn't get any viewers, it means I don't even get any um, snarky, snidey wankers. Um, but if there were any around, you might have noticed I've put that tyre on back to front. Oh dear, never mind. So once we've got the brake sorted out and kind of in the right place, we've got to do something with that blue plastic tube then and try and work out what kind of um, sprocket system we can get on here. Um, no idea how to get the sprocket aligned yet. I can see right away it needs to be over here to line up with the uh, chain run up there, like the chain guide. So that's going to be fun. We're going to have to have some sort of spacer made up for that. And I suppose the next thing is to come up here, bung the caliper on there, which is now 10 millimeters outboard, or really 5 millimeter radius outboard too much, and I've got to bring that in. So there you go, five minute job, 15 years to do it, <laughs> and five views on YouTube. Well done Susan.